A lot of people think they need millions of dollars saved up to be able to retire comfortably. But is this really the case? Working out how much you actually need to retire isn't a straightforward calculation because there are so many variables. What each person needs will vary widely based on a number of factors, such as your current age, when you plan to retire, how much you plan to spend in retirement, and what your sources of income will be. This is why you need to put a lot of planning into calculating your retirement income. You also need to remember that it isn't going to be a one-time process. For example, if you're in your mid-20s and are just starting to save for your retirement, you'll likely have at least four more decades of active working life ahead of you. This means that whatever number you arrive at right now is simply going to be an estimate and is likely to change as you adjust your calculations. But don't let this overwhelm you. In today's video, we are going to break this process down so that you can get an idea of how much money you might need in order to retire. But before we start, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. The first thing you should remember is that you need to start saving as early as possible. The sooner you start saving, the less you'll have to save each month as you get older. Most people know they need to save for retirement, but many don't start saving until it's too late. Here are some of the benefits of starting to save early for retirement. Benefit number one, you'll have a cushion for emergencies. If you have a decent amount of money saved up, you'll be less likely to have to take on high interest debt in case of an emergency. Benefit number two, your money will have more time to grow. The longer your money's invested, the more it will grow. Investing early gives your money a chance to grow exponentially. This is the secret of generating wealth. Benefit number three, you won't fall behind in your retirement saving goals. If you start saving early, you'll get into the habit of saving and you'll be less likely to fall behind in your retirement savings goals. This can help you avoid having to work into your old age and could even mean you retire earlier than expected. Benefit number four, you'll have peace of mind. Knowing that you're on track with your retirement savings can give you peace of mind. This can help you enjoy your life more and worry less about the future. If you don't start saving for retirement early, you may end up having to work well into your old age. But if you do start saving early, you'll be on your way to a comfortable and possible early retirement. So what's the best time to start planning for retirement? Ideally, your early 20s, right when you start your career. This is the best time because most people have very low responsibilities during this phase of life. You don't have a family, your health is probably at its prime, and you're not likely to have big expenditures, which means that you can save more. Late 20s or early 30s are also not too late to start. Even in your 30s, you still have at least three decades of active working life, which is plenty of time to plan. Any later than this, though, and you'll have to work a lot harder in order to meet your retirement goals. Now, the second and most important thing you need to do is figure out how much money you're actually going to need in retirement. This number is going to be different for everyone, but there are some general guidelines you can follow. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, because everyone has different circumstances. Some people have families to support, some have health issues, some live a simple life, and some will want to spend their retired years living large. Remember that if you're doing this calculation in your 20s, your current living expenses aren't going to be the same as when you're in your late 50s. So try to talk to people who are already retired to see how much they spend on a monthly basis. This will help you come up with a rough figure of how much you might need. It's also important to remember the average life expectancy. If you retire at 60, you can expect to have at least 20 good years, which is why you'll need your retirement nest egg to be big enough to last you at least two decades. A good rule of thumb is to save anywhere between 15 to 20 times your pre-retirement annual expenditure. This means if you spend $80,000 annually at the time of retirement, you will need at least $1.2 million in your retirement nest egg to live a comfortable life. This amount can be adjusted up or down depending on additional sources of income, such as social security, pensions, and part-time employment, as well as factors like your health and desired lifestyle. 
you can also use the 4% rule to calculate how much you need to save. The 4% rule is a pretty simple way to figure out how much you need to save for retirement. Just divide your desired annual retirement income by 4%, and that's how much you'll need to have saved up. For example, if you want an annual income of $80,000 in retirement, you'll need a nest egg of around $2 million saved up. But keep in mind that these numbers can vary depending on your specific situation. So you can see that, with up to $80,000 in annual expenses, you'll need roughly $1.2 to $2 million saved up. This is going to be your baseline calculation. So if you're in your early 20s, you have roughly 40 years to get there. Break this down on a monthly basis, and you'll need around $4,100 in savings per month. As long as you hit this target each month, you'll be good. Easy, right? Just kidding. Obviously, not many people are going to be able to save that much each month, especially over a long period of time. But here's the catch. You don't need to save $4,100 each month to hit your target. Why? Because you'll be investing your savings, which means that your savings will be earning money as well. This will significantly cut down the amount you'll need to contribute from your income. Let's use the stock market as an example. Over the last 100 years, the S&P 500 has returned on average 10% per year. So if you started investing $600 per month at age 25, by the time you turned 60, you would have a total balance of $1,951,375. But if you waited until you turned 40, you would need to invest $2,840 per month to retire with that same amount of money. You can clearly see how important it is to plan for your retirement as early as possible. Once you have an idea of how much money you'll need in retirement and where you're going to invest your money, you'll also need to go back and revise your retirement plan on an annual basis. Why? Because as you age, your life will change dramatically, and so will your expenses. You might get married, so the two of you can save for retirement together. Or you may have kids. You'll need to buy a house and a car. You'll need to go on holidays, birthday parties, and whatnot. Point being, as you age, your expenses will grow. You'll not have the freedom that you do in your 20s and early 30s. This is going to impact your monthly savings and the overall retirement plan. So you'll need to tweak your plan from time to time to stay on course. If you want to make sure that you're able to hit your savings target, then one of the most important things that you can do is create multiple streams of income. This means that you'll have more sources of revenue coming in, which will make it easier for you to reach your goal. There are a number of different ways that you can go about doing this. One option could be to start your own business. This can be a great way to bring in extra money, and it gives you the flexibility to work on your own schedule. Another option could be to find ways to make money online. There are a number of different ways to do this, and many of them are fairly easy and straightforward. You could start a blog and sell advertising, or you could do freelance work on websites like Fiverr or Upwork. Whatever route you choose, making sure that you have multiple streams of income is essential if you want to hit your savings target. So, there you have it. These are some of the things to keep in mind when thinking about how much money you need to retire. What do you think? Are you on track with your retirement planning? Or maybe you're already retired? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.